I'm Engineer Dave. Well, you know, I'm not a real engineer. What? You're fired! But the real engineers have let me pretend for the day so that you and I can learn all about... <laughs> now, obviously, this is not a locomotive. This is what's called a speeder. Speeders are used out on the track for doing more than 150 miles an hour. So what do you say? You and I go for a ride. Let her go, Jack. Oh, jeez. You've never gotten this close to one of these. Nice teeth. And you never should unless you feel disoriented. Hi, kids. I'm construction foreman Dave. Bob the Builder. Can we fix it? Bob the Builder. Yes, we can. Look at the size of this rocket. I'm going to jog along the side of it to give you an idea just how big it is. Oh, yeah! It was like lightning! Everybody was lightning! Don't ever stay off drugs. It's not only illegal, but it is fun. Well, this is a typical locomotive like you'd see hauling freight. And let's talk a little bit about how they work. This part up here is a big diesel engine. It has 20 cylinders, great big cylinders. Rubbish! Huffed Henry. So that electricity is then put down by the wheels. In between the wheels, there are great big electric motors. So really what this is, is a space rocket. As you can see, these engines are really big. You're really high in the air when you're up here on the roof. Now, if we go down here. You know this, there's no steering wheel. Well, basically, this engine just goes right where the tracks are laid out. I can go anywhere. I don't need rails. There's a little squirting device that actually... <laughs> don't let your kids watch it! Here you'll find trains, train, 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 trains, and more trains. Even trucks... What do you say we sing a trucker song? Okay. He's bound and down, loaded up and trucking. Are we gonna do what they say can be done? Are we've got a long way to go and a short time to get there. I know what you're probably thinking. You're thinking we're at the railway yard instead of an airport. Fact is, that tower behind us is much like the tower that they have at an airport. But instead of controlling trains, it controls an airplane and lots of them. We're at the processing center where the mail is sorted. We'll get set to find out because there goes the mail. Here's the mail. It never fails. It makes me want to wag my tail. When it comes, I want to wail. Maybe the easiest way to explain what happens in a post office like this is to compare it to a giant railroad yard. They call it humping. Sex accident. <laughs> are put together like water almost up to here but the air hoses have to be hooked up by people this is a dangerous job once hooked together the trains can going right back to the academy and start from day one okay we're all set to learn about quantum mechanics to do that we've come to one of the biggest train stations in the country this is Sparta! It's here where you can buy your tickets. Are you sure about that? Check on departure times. And race to the platform. You don't want to be late. You guys are a little bit late today. Yeah, That's okay. Yeah, First day. That's okay. Won't That's happen okay. again. <laughs> Union Station is also the home of LA's underground subway. Subway. Keep fresh. And this is where you'll find so much cool equipment. Big stuff, little stuff, everything but the tank. Oh! Pleasure. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I just collect the tickets. Yes, that's part of the job. <laughs> I think I can do that. I can collect the tickets. I'm Deputy Dave. And I'm Deputy Becky. A hold up in the Bronx. Brooklyn's broken out in fights. There's a traffic jam in Harlem that's backed up to Jackson Heights. There's a scout troop short a child. Cruise ships do an idle wild. Car 54, where are you? Run.
one stolen car ring. Just when half my patrol cars are cracked up and being repaired. Hello, garage, block 53rd, where are my cars? I said, where are my cars? You'll never know. Now look, fellas, on strike duty, you shouldn't have any trouble as long as you remain absolutely neutral between management and labor. Well, how neutral can he get? He got hit by management, I got hit by labor. <laughs> then get us our car back. You lucky stiffs, you still got your car. That's O'Hara. He's the only one who stops like that. Come on. What happened? You're late. They hit you. They clobbered you. Wait a minute. 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 The car, the what, are you, what are you talking about? You mean there's nothing wrong with the car? No, she's fine now. Now? What do you mean now? Nothing. The engine started to miss a while back. That's because you drive a car like it's a stock car race. <laughs> Even in wrecks like this. Where, 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 where have you been? Memphis Street. Come on, were you, you haven't been listening to me all this time? I've been Come listening. On, Stuff and nonsense, snorted James. You just push a button and they open right up. Right down on the boy, and then I'll push, push a button and they push a button and they. Conductor Dave, you can't sleep on the job. You gotta go to the dining car. Now you and I are going to get a rare glimpse behind the scenes at Amtrak. You see, most people never get to come back here. Oh, oh my, my, my tie is stuck in the bag. Oh. Oh. Don't ever play on the railroad tracks. Dave, we're all clear to go. Why don't you go ahead and take it away? Dave? Dave? Dave, were you listening? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, your turn yeah, now. Right, you go ahead. Right. We're ready to go? Absolutely. It's all yours. Take it Straight away. Straight ahead, huh? Okay, I think I got it. Uh, break up, and away we go. Engine's cranking. Engine's cranking. <laughs> now, I know you know what this is. This is a great, big, huge, old... Big Dragon. Now, that is put in the firebox. <laughs> This is Brakeman Dave to the engineer. You're the fluke! Forget the train! Stop the radio! Until next time. You can't win. <laughs> and then you just push this button here. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh.